Welcome to INTC 2020. This is Elias Lad for Lab 3, where we're configuring local storage. Lab 3 has three parts of it. For part 1, we're creating a simple volume using 5 gigabytes of disk 1, and we'll format it as NTFS. We're going to extend the volume by 4 gigabytes on the same disk. We're going to shrink the volume by 2 gigabytes. We're going to create span volume by extending the simple volume by 5 gigabytes onto another disk. We're going to delete the span volume. We're going to create a mirror using all the space on the two of the disk. We're going to delete the volumes created when breaking the mirror. We're going to create RAID 5 using all the space on the three disk. And we're going to delete that RAID 5 and unallocate all four disks of data. Alright, for lab 3, objective 2, we're going to be creating a storage pool, adding three disks to it, creating a 5 gigabyte mirror virtual drive with thin provisioning. We're going to be creating a volume on the mirror using all available space. In server manager, we may extend the volume of the mirror to 10 gigabytes. We're going to be deleting the mirror virtual disk. The next thing we'll be doing is creating a 5 gigabyte parity virtual drive with same provisioning, creating a volume of 5 gigabytes with an NTFS format, extending the volume to 50 gigabytes. Then we'll be deleting that RAID virtual disk. The next thing we'll be doing is adding the fourth disk to the storage pool. We're going to create a virtual parity disk of 16 gigabytes. And then we're going to use the NTFS format, and we're going to make it a fixed provisioning. Then we're going to create a volume using the maximum size, and we're going to extend the volume to the maximum size. All right, and for part three of lab three, we're going to be using the program PowerShell and delete the parity drive and storage pool. Go down to server manager. Let it load a second. Bound storage services. Just you're gonna find the very first hard disk. Right click, initialize. It says initialize at GPT, so that's the default. And there you go, it's now online. Now you're gonna want to go to disk management. Just type in disk management. Let's full screen it. Okay, so the very first thing we want to do is make a simple volume. Since this one is already turned on from the server manager, right click, new simple volume, next. Let's do 5 gigabytes. And there we go. Okay, he uh, created a simple volume using 5 gigabytes of data formatted as NTFS. Now we're going to extend the volume by 4 gigabytes on the same disk. And there we go. Now let's shrink it by 2 gigabytes. And there we have it. Now we're going to create a span volume by extending the simple volume by 5 gigabytes onto another disk. So let's right click this to make it go online. I'm going to right click this one. Oops. We're going to do extend volume. Just take away this one since we're expanding it from, from this to. We're going to do 5 gigabytes. And see this is converting it to a dynamic disk. And it's no longer. GPD. Now the very next thing we're going to do is let's delete the span volume. And the reset, all the data is unallocated. Now we're going to be creating a mirror using the space of the two disks. Okay. Let's create a mirror drive by right clicking it. New mirror volume. Next, we're going to be adding this two onto that, and when you do that, you're making a copy of each other, using the space of both the disks to store each data on each, so they'll be mirroring each other. Can we convert it to a dynamic disk? take a 
second to format it. Yeah. There we go. All right. I mean, right click. Let's see. You want to break the mirror. Break the mirror is when one of the drives stop working. So that, so that dialog is no longer fault tolerant. That means it's no longer making copies of each other. So when you delete the mirror, you're making it where you can able to remove this disk. If that, say, drive one failed. So let's go on and make a RAID 5. So let's delete both of these. So yeah, you have to delete both of them. Bring on disk three. All right, to make it rate five, we have to turn this one on. Let's go ahead and just turn that one on too, and initialize it. Now you want to right-click this one, new rate five. <coughs> we have to add disk two and disk three because for three five you have a parity. So if one of these fail. Is two and disk three store some information that was from the disk one and is able to restore the data back to disk one once you replace it with a new drive. There we go. Now just give it one second as it's formatting the read five. All right. Now you can see they're done formatting. Now you want to right click. And you see the repair volume. What this repair volume button does is that if one of these drives were to fail, it would be able to restore the information. And also, there is no extend or shrink for rate fives. So whatever you set it up initially with, you have to stick with it or make a whole new RAID 5. So there is no extend or shrink the volume. And now we're going to have to delete the, this RAID 5. All four disks are now unallocated un 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 with tongue twister and then we're going to move on to part 4. Sorry. Jeez, I just messed that up. Part Let's go down to Server Manager, File and Storage Services, Storage Pools. We're going to right click, New Storage Pool, Next. Let's name it Pool. We're going to use the e disk. So I right click the pool, new virtual disk, next, and let's name this mirror. Put mirror for the layout, it's too thin. Let's do five gigabytes. show drives one, two, and three. It's actually disk five. So one, two, and three is disk five, and it appears as a basic volume. And it's all mirror drive virtually. So 
next thing we want to do is go to server store ah, back to the storage pools. We're gonna extend this mirror. Let's do by ten. And let's go back to server manager. And there you go. It's now ten. On the properties of the mirror. You can see the allocated space is one gigabyte, the user space is two, and the capacity is ten. Now we're gonna be doing the mirror drive. The mirror disk. Plug it pretty much if it was a bridge, uh, physical disk. Now you want to delete it. There we go. Now you want to right click, and we're going to be making a parity drive. It's much like the same way you made a mirror drive. Going to be a new disk. Next, let's name it parity. And the way this is is just like a RAID 5. Parity's layout and provisioning. It'll be a five gigabyte size of the virtual disk. We need to create. And there we go. We have a five gigabyte parity drive. this hit create and there we have it we just made ourselves a parity virtual disk using server manager all right now let's go ahead and extend this let's see right now it's about 30 gigabytes so you want to right click, extend virtual disk, let's extend it to 50 gigabytes. There we go, we have 50. The reason this is 30 still is because you still have to add more disks. You have the virtual disk set to 50 capacity. So this makes it where you're able to add more disks in the future so you can actually expand your parity drives. When you try to shrink it, it doesn't allow you to because you cannot shrink it. So make sure you step cautiously when you're expanding it because you cannot go back unless you redo the entire pool. Alright, and now we're going to be deleting this RAID 5 virtual disk. Okay, let's, let's de detach it first. There we go. And delete virtual disk. Next, we're going to be adding a physical disk to the store pool. I'm going to select it because we didn't add this one earlier. And our storage space has increased. Now let's right click your virtual disk. Let's create a new parity drive. Next. Let's choose, choose fix this time. It actually uses up entire space instead of what thin does is only allocates how much it needs. Let's do 16 gigabytes. Great.
total size, not the size you want to add to it. Hit, hit, okay, and there we go. Get used to the entire thing. Now we're going to be moving on to part three. Alright, and now in part three, we're opening up PowerShell. We're going to be removing the virtual disk and storage pool. So you want to type this out, remove virtual disk, remove the name of the disk, it's parity. It will ask you, are you sure you want to erase all the data that it contains? Yes. And there you go. Now it should it's still there, you want to refresh it, and it should be gone. As you can see, it's gone. Next step is to remove the storage pool. So remove storage pool, and since we named it pool, you want to confirm. Yes, you want to delete storage pool, and there we have it. Refresh the this bad boy, and it's gone. and virtual disk is removed. And there we go. We covered lab three objectives. Part one, we created simple volumes, we create a mirror, we create a read five. For part two, objective, we create a storage pool, we create a five gigabyte mirror virtual drive, five gigabyte parity virtual drive. We added the fourth disk to the storage pool. We created a parity virtual drive with of 16 gigabytes fix. And then for part three, we use PowerShell to delete the parity drive and storage pool.